improvement bill here. So a couple of months ago, I held a poster making contest where I said that the winner of the contest would have their poster available for sale in my merchandise store. But I didn't have a merch store at the time. Plus, I have a bunch of other posters that I've been holding on to for more than a year now. So I think it's about time we officially set up the merch store and launch it. Which is why today's episode is brought to you with the help of the guys at Wix. Wix is a website building platform that allows you to create beautiful, fully functioning websites with tons of features all from scratch in the matter of minutes. You don't have to have any programming or design experience whatsoever. It's that intuitive. The first 100 people to click on the link in the description box below and use coupon code IMPROVEMENTPILL20 will get 20% off any of their yearly plans. Other than that, today I'm going to create the official Improvement Pill merchandise store right in front of your eyes as fast as I can using Wix. So let's jump right into it. All right, so this is the main Wix website. And I just want to show you how fast I can create this website. So we're going to quickly log in. I already made an account just to save us some time. And when we log in, it'll look something like this. It'll bring us to this page. I'm just going to quickly create a website. Click on create a website. It brings us to a page where it says, what kind of website do you want to create? Now, we're creating an online store. So we'll click on online store. It brings us to this page where we can choose to let the Wix ADI create the website for us. Or we can choose a website that's kind of already created from a bunch of different templates that they have in their library. But I'm going to pick the Wix ADI because it'll allow me to customize all of the features I want for my website as compared to just picking a template. Okay, so we're going to click Start Now for the Wix ADI. And it's going to bring us to this page where it asks us, what type of website do you want to create? So we're, we're creating an online store, some sort of online store. So I'm just going to type that in online store. And uh, that's it right there, online store. I'm going to pick that. Now it brings us to this page where it asks us, what do you need on your new website? So the great thing about Wix is you can automatically add a bunch of features like videos and uh, subscribe forms to build an email list or, you know, even a chat box and a blog. And if I want, I can add on those features later. Okay, so I'm going to click next. It's going to bring us to the next page where it asks us for the name of the online store, Improvement Pill Store. Next. Okay, do you want to import your images and text? Um, I don't really have any images and text on another website that I want to bring over. So I'm just going to skip this. Next. Okay, so it allows us to quickly review and edit the information. Everything looks good so far. I'm going to click next. And now it brings us to a page where it allows us to pick a theme that we want for the website. And there's a couple of pretty good options here. Um, don't really like that. This one looks pretty good, the classic one. Um, hmm. This clean one looks pretty good too. Uh, I think I will go for the clean slate for now. And I'll click next. Okay, so now it brings us to a page where they've kind of taken all the information that we've given them so far. And they're allowing us to pick from three different templates where we can kind of fill in the blanks and customize it to the way we want. And out of these three, I think the first one's not really a good choice for me right now. But the middle one, I think I like it a lot. So I'm going to pick that one. Okay, so now it's setting up the page. It's rather quick, you know, just a couple of seconds and voila. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly fast forward and show you how I added a product because I'm actually using another website, Printful, where I um, will print the posters and whenever anyone orders it, they'll receive an order from the store and they'll print it. So there's a couple of steps I had to jump through to set that up. So I'm just going to fast forward and show you everything I did but I'm not going to explain it because it's about a totally different website. I mean, it's very straightforward. I just basically followed the instructions that they told me. I'm about to switch the currency and I had to add in the product. So I'm just going to fast forward that. I'm going to quickly show you everything I did. But it's not something that you would have to do because it depends on what type of store that you're doing. And it doesn't really have anything to do with Wix. It just depended on Printful. And these were the things that they told me to do. So I'm going to fast forward all that stuff. And at the end, we should have a final product that looks something like this. Okay, so that allows me to add in the posters. Okay, and uh, of course, I want to switch the currency from the Vietnamese dong because I'm currently in Vietnam and I want to switch it to the US dollar because the store is technically going to be hosted in the US. So I want to quickly do that. I'm going to fast forward a little bit more, add in some more of the products. We're going to change some of the description box, some of the stuff in the description for the product and voila. Now we have one of the posters that we can host on the store. So I'm going to delete this other one. And OK, that's it. So we added one of the posters. OK, so I'm going to simplify the store. Click on some of the parts in the store. Click on Edit. 
And again, I want to delete the section because we don't really have a physical store. This is a drop shipping store, so there is no physical location. So I'm going to get rid of all this stuff, uncheck all these buttons. We still want that little contact us section at the bottom, just in case anyone has any problems with my posters and they want to email me for some customer support. So I'm going to leave my email in there. I'm going to move up to this little section, this about section. And this is definitely something that I want to change. I want to change the text to something like motivational posters that inspire are designed to inspire. Okay. And let's change this little paragraph down here. Let's see. Let's make a little blurb, a little story about the store. So we're going to delete this entire part and we'll add something of our own. Let's see. Um, hmm. Posters act as visual cues that can remind us about certain things throughout the day. We can use this to our advantage by carefully selecting what type of posters we need in our environment. By changing our environment, we will indirectly change the actions we take throughout the day. Take a look at our wide selection of posters and select one that you feel like would benefit you the most in your current situation. Place it in a place that you frequent so that you are constantly reminded about the lessons behind the poster. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Okay, cool. So that's our little about section. Now I want to change this little image here because it has nothing to do with posters and I want to change it to something that's more relevant. So I'm just going to upload something from my computer and I'm just going to use this image right here, this little motivational image that I have from one of my older videos. And I kind of want to change the format, the way it looks. So I'm going to kind of change, yeah, I'm going to change it so it's on the, on the left. And now I want to change it a little bit more so that, well, we can change this text here about this store first. And then, okay, so I want to adjust this picture. I want to make it a little bit more to the right. So we're just going to open this up, adjust the images on our website, click on any component in the website, and uh, brings up very, very straightforward UI. And we're just going to trim it a little bit, crop it a little bit so that the image is more, okay, it's moved a little bit more to the, to the right. But I think we can move it a little bit more. We can cut out that one small character at the bottom. So I'm just going to adjust it one more time. I'm going to open up the crop tool again. And we'll... Cut that guy out. Okay, so we'll use something like this. Save. And it should look like how I want it to look. And ta-da. Okay, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So that part um, I'm pretty happy about. So as we scroll up, uh, you can see one of the products that I've already imported just to save us some time because I have to jump on the drop shipping store that I'm using. So I've already saved us some time. I've already connected the store with Wix so that I can just simply bring over the products very easily. So let's edit the top now. I'm going to change this top um, motivational posters because that's basically what this website is about. It's a website that sells motivational posters. But I do want to change the uh, the image here. So just like before, I'm going to go down and I'm going to replace the image and click on replace. I'll upload one of my own images. I'm going to use the one that I used for the booster immune system video because I like I like the thumbnail quite a lot. So I've uploaded it and I'm just going to replace it. And just like that, it's been replaced. Um, but let's see. There's still a couple of things that we can do. I think we can make it a little bit lighter. We can change the opacity so that the text can be read a little bit better. We'll change the color behind the image and we'll increase the opacity a little bit just so it's a little bit darker. And the text, the motivational posters, you can read it a little bit better. Okay, play around with the opacity a bit. And this looks pretty good. So I definitely want to change the text color so it stands out a little bit more. Mm, black doesn't seem like it's a good choice here because it kind of blends into the background. But I definitely want to bold it. So I'm going to bold it. I think I'll change it back to white just so it stands out more. Okay, so yeah, that, that looks significantly better. Definitely. It looks a lot better. So yeah, that's good. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to crop it a little bit just to make it because I think the image is a little bit too big. So I'm going to crop it a little bit and play around with some of these settings here. Mm, let's see. Okay, yeah, I'll 
crop it to like a little bit more, make it smaller. Okay, cool. A little bit more. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'll click on save and let's see what our final product is. Okay, so it looks pretty good. So that's what it looks like. Let's go and scroll down here. Let's see what else we could change. We can add some of the socials, connect some of these social accounts like Facebook or Twitter. But I think we can just do that later and save us some time. As you can see here, you just put the link for your social websites and that would automatically create the links. I don't think we need to add anything down here though because we, we already have that contact us page. So I'm just gonna leave that part blank. I'm gonna leave the footer alone and I'm gonna scroll back up. Um, let's see, this contact us section, do you think we could add anything here? I think we can leave that there just for people that have problems with any posters that they purchase down the line. But let's see, I mean, honestly, this looks pretty good. This looks pretty good so far. So we're just gonna preview this to see how visitors would view the website, what it would look like in, in real life, actually. So I'm gonna click on preview, and in just a second, it brings us to what the website will look like. So I think this looks pretty good, to be honest. I think it looks pretty good so far. Uh, I'm just gonna go back. Okay, so we're testing, actually, let's test this um, shop first. Let's see if the store is the way I want it. So um, I think the image is a little bit too big, and you can't see the entire poster, so I definitely want to adjust that but the cart looks good. Um, the cart works. Can I check out? It looks like I can check out. Okay, so I just have to connect a payment method, which is something that I'll just do after this video because I don't want you know some personal information over there. But so far it looks pretty good, but I definitely do want to adjust some other things. So let's see, let's go to this section right here. We'll adjust some of the posters. Okay, so full width doesn't look that good. The image ratio, one to one, it looks like it's already the best. So I think we can just leave that alone. But I do want to adjust that section where on the store page where they see one product. So, okay, so I'm just gonna click here, page, product page, and just like that brings me to the product page. And aha, okay, so this is the part that I want to adjust because the poster, you can only see half the poster. So I want to make sure that it fits. So I'm gonna change the image scaling, scale to fit, and uh, I guess I could leave all of these details. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you can add the sharing option to so your customers can share with their friends that they're about to purchase one of the products. But I think for now, this looks pretty good. It's already very, very clean. It looks very clean. And uh, let's check the cart. So the cart, honestly, looks good. Everything looks good. Doesn't seem to be anything that I need to change. Okay. So we'll just leave that alone. And... Let's check the top right here. Is there anything that we want to change? No, I mean, honestly, it looks good. Looks good. So let's see, what else do we have? The last page, which is the thank you page after somebody purchased the product. So I don't, honestly, I don't think we need to change anything here as well. Everything looks good, but you could easily change any of the stuff inside this little order form. I think that's it. So all we got to do is click on publish and just like that, congratulations, your site is now live online. And that's it. Connect the domain, right? So I want to make sure that I can connect domain, but I've already saved us some time and I've already purchased the domain using Wix. And let's check our domain. All right, so it's already been connected. Improvement Pill Store is the official name of the store. That's it. Everything looks good. All right, guys, so this is it. I took some extra time, about an extra 15 minutes, and I added the remaining posters in our library into the store, and I made some more minor finishing touches, and voila, we have the official Improvement Pill store. And here you can see the four posters that we have. I plan on making more posters down the line, and you can click on any of these posters. You can see it a little bit more up close, and you can see what the poster's about. And if you are interested in purchasing the poster, you can simply add to your cart and this whole part is fully functioning. You can view the cart. I've tested this. You can check out using PayPal. I'm gonna add another payment method soon after, but right now you can check out using PayPal anywhere in the world and the shipping rate is gonna vary depending on where you are in the world. But um, yeah, this is it. This is the final product and it looks amazing. And that's the power of creating a website using Wix. It's extremely intuitive. It doesn't require any sort of programming or design experience. 
And as you can see, I was able to put this entire thing together in about just 30 minutes and the final product looks pretty good. And that's it. Our merchandise store is officially open for business. And again, for any of you that want to build a website of your own, the first 100 people to click on the link in the description box below and use coupon code IMPROVEMENTPILL20 will get 20% off any of their yearly plans. Besides that, guys, stay tuned.